a Friday edition of Southeast Texas Live. A couple of weeks ago, I talked to you about some things that you could do to make sure that your immune system is nice and strong and healthy because flu season is right around the corner, believe it or not. But something else that happens at this time of year, especially for those of us that suffer from seasonal allergies, is when the weather starts to change a little bit, and it was just a little bit cooler this morning, yay! So when that happens, there's also new things in the air. There's different types of pollen, grasses, trees, and mold spores because of the changing in the, the weather as far as the rains go. So those kind of things can begin to affect those seasonal allergies. And along with the runny nose, the stuffy nose, the scratchy eyes, we also get the sore, scratchy throat. And I don't know about you, but a sore throat is one of the worst things for me to have. I just cannot stand to have a sore throat. But there's so many things that you can do that may already be in your spice rack and in your pantry before you take over the counter medications and before you make that trip to the doctor's office or the clinic. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the ingredients that you may already have. And then this weekend on Facebook and on my blog, I'm going to post some really easy recipes for things that you can make at home to fight that scratchy sore throat and see if you can get rid of it before making that trip to the doctor's office. So here's some things that are always in my pantry, and they're probably in yours as well, that are gonna be ingredients for these recipes. And some of them are very common spices. First of all is cinnamon. Now all of these are gonna have properties such as anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antibacterial. So they're all good for getting rid of whatever might be trying to grow in your throat and take hold and make you really sick but can also get rid of the soreness and the inflammation that can happen just from coughing and having that scratchy throat. So ground cinnamon, sage, ground ginger, and if you keep real ginger root around like I do sometimes, you wanna have that on hand. All of these make some really nice different throat sprays and teas and things that you can put on your oatmeal and things like that that will help that scratchy throat and get rid of that inflammation. Next is apple cider vinegar. Now there's lots of things you can do with apple cider vinegar, but there's a gargle that you can do that is antibacterial that you can get rid of that sore scratchy throat. Next is coconut oil. Coconut oil can just soothe those sore throats and it also tastes really good. You can put a teaspoon in your coffee, put it in your oatmeal. You can even cook your eggs with it and it will coat your throat and soothe it. Next is local honey. Now along with helping you get rid of your allergies, by helping you to, uh, to have those immunities that can also soothe that scratchy throat. And then last, good old salt water. Gargle with warm salt water. How many of us have heard that through the years? Now for all of the recipes using all this stuff that you probably already have in your pantry, check out my Facebook page and my blog this weekend, fitnessnutritionconsulting.com.